We are now going to learn about loops in Rust, and a loop is when you uh, you make the uh, make Rust do something over and over again until you want it to stop. <clears throat> and a, uh, the easiest way to make a loop is to type loop, and then you uh, you open up the curly brackets, and then you do some stuff in there. And if you print uh, something, then this will print something forever. And I think uh, on the playground it won't even even bother to tell us because uh, it'll just uh, it'll just give up and uh, you can see there if uh, <clears throat> if you're running rust on your computer you'll see something 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 all the way down until you uh, hit uh, control C to make it stop so uh, you know of course we need to tell rust uh, when it can stop so uh, let's uh, let's give it uh, a variable called a counter and then uh, Every time we loop, we are going to say counter counter plus equals one, <clears throat> and then we will print it, and we'll say that counter is now something, and print out the value, and then uh, if we uh, hmm, it's starting to freeze up, let's uh, let's just reload this. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, we're back. So, uh, yeah, the counter is now something, and then uh, if counter is uh, equal to five, that's when we will make it stop. And you use this keyword called break. And uh, so break will take you out of the loop that you are currently in. And so. Uh, this break will take you out of this loop. And uh, by the way, the opposite of uh, the break is uh, continue. And that's if you want to, uh, you know, do some if else, if else. And uh, in uh, in some case, you want it to go, you know, loop one more time. And that's when you use continue. It just means to, uh, to keep going, ignore everything and then keep going. So this should print, uh, Zero, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five. So there we go. <clears throat> now one. Uh, so up to now, this is pretty. Uh, you know, no, not really different from other languages. But there's one. Uh, one interesting thing is uh, you can name a loop in uh, in Rust, and uh, this is. Uh, you know what? What's that for? I'll show you uh, why that can be useful. So that's. Uh, Let's say we have uh, two counters this time, and we're going to do two loops, and we will type uh, or print out now entering the first loop. So we do that, and then we're looping here, and the counter goes up by one, and then we'll print uh, we'll print the counter out. The counter is put the counter in there. And then if uh, then once it goes over nine, then we are going to start a second loop. I don't know why, but that's what we're going to do. So now starting the second loop, and then we start a second loop. And then inside here, we're going to print out the second counter. The second counter is print out counter two, and then uh, now this time counter two goes up by one, and then uh, if counter two equals three, and that's when we're going to break. And you can see the problem here is uh, we are looping here, then we're looping here, and then we're going to break. And if we break here, we will only break out of, uh, out of this loop, and then uh, then it's going to just take us back here. It's going to uh, increase this counter. Then it's going to take us back here. Then it's going to uh, break, and then it's going to. So we're never going to uh, to leave. And uh, let's just make sure that uh, that we're never going to leave. And I think we are because it is just sitting there. So I'll assume that that worked. And so here's what you do to break out of that. You give it a name. And this is how you do it in Rust. So you use this little tick here, and then give it a name, and then uh, and then a colon, and then let's give uh, 
this one a name as well. So we'll call it second loop. And then down here, we will break out of first loop. And let's hope this works. Yeah, that's right. We never use second loop. Whatever. That's fine. So there we go. You can see. So we enter the first loop and then we go here and then we start counting up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then uh, once we enter that, we go to the second loop. Now we are inside here. And then uh, we are starting to count from zero, one, two, and then it hits three. And then we will break out of here. So that is how the loop loops work in Rust.